Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 20 of the My Gym series. So we finally hit the 20 landmark. We're getting pretty far along in the series. So here's a look at my team statistics. Pretty simple stuff. You guys have seen them a few times. Today we are taking on the Pistons, so here's a look at their team. They have Kyrie Irving and Jabari Parker. Both very talented players. Parker's developed into one of the better players in the league. And Kyrie, of course, is just a naturally good player. So right there you can see John Wall's second MVP voting. Now you guys probably won't believe this, but Jimmy Butler was actually fifth in MVP voting following the past few games. But let's listen to the sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Happy Easter to everybody out there. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Lakers as they go up against the Detroit Pistons out at the Palace of Auburn Hills. Well, for Detroit, what a sour way to end the season. No trip to the playoffs. All that's left for them now is to play the dreaded spoiler role. No doubt the strength of that Detroit Pistons team is inside, Shaq. Yes, they should look to go to the post early. They need to understand that going to the post will open things up for them. That's all you got to say? Well, getting to the post is better than shooting threes. I'm sick and tired of watching these guys shoot threes and miss. Good. Thank you for putting a period on that thought. Here's Kevin Harlan. Okay, guys, like I said, Jimmy Butler was, in fact, number five for MVP voting, which is unbelievable considering he's a bench player and he's actually in the top five for MVP. So I can't believe that. That just proves how good of a season we are having. At this point, I believe we are 63 and five. And as you guys can see by the title, this is going to be the last regular season game for this season. So hopefully we can make a run in the playoffs and we'll just see what happens there. So, so far, I believe, like I said, we're like 63 and five or something. And it really looks like we're going to break the record for the best season ever because we are just doing phenomenal. And realistically, I don't want to spend too much time in the regular season because like I've emphasized many, many times, I care much more about the postseason considering how team how good our team is playing. I really just don't find it necessary to play all these regular season games, which we are just going to continue to win because we're doing so well. But this team definitely made a run for us, so hopefully we can continue our winning. Brian misses that three-pointer, but luckily Jimmy Butler comes out of nowhere and just slams that one home for the ferocious put-back dunk. you got to love when your player's showing that type of effort, especially Jimmy Butler. He wants to get back in that MVP race. Even if he doesn't win it, he wants to be recognized as one of the better players. Because he wants to give himself a big contract, to be completely honest, I think I already signed him to a pretty big deal, but who cares, he, he still wants to be prove, he still wants to prove he's worth that contract, I suppose. That's right there, he hits the three. So right here, we're going to get blocked, Darrell Todd, a rookie for this year, who's actually very, very good, I think he's number one in rookie voting, uh, passes it down core and they're able to get a layup. So something I want to talk about that's unbelievable is that there's one player who just freaking beasted up in real life, and I know this has nothing to do with anything. But did anybody see Mo Williams' game? Yes, Mo Williams. Mo freaking Williams. I can't believe that he did something so great. He dropped 52 points. And I know this has nothing to do with anything, but how the heck does Mo Williams drop 52 points? That's just unbelievable to me. So good for him. As right here, you see that um, we give up the foul to Honus Valanciunas, who just starts dancing, which is kind of offensive, considering I don't want to see a 7-foot guy tall you know a guy with seven feet tall dancing on me it's pretty disrespectful because i mean you're you're tall you're, you're not supposed to be dancing dude you're supposed to be playing basketball so it was a little bit hurtful so we got to come out here and show him what's up that is just not appropriate i'm not gonna let somebody dance on the court this doesn't look like the club so i don't know what he was thinking there but who cares right here we got the one point lead now nobody really stretches away in this game you can see that in every clip it's usually one other team has the lead so nobody really ever got you know, a, a dominant lead. And it's pretty frustrating when that's happening is when, you know, when teams are going back and forth because it's really nerve-wracking when you're playing these games because, like, when are you ever going to get the lead? And it's just way too nerve-wracking trying to just take a big lead. Luckily, right here, we're able to drain the th or drain the two with Colin Bryant. So that gives us a three-point lead. Sadly, you see the Pistons score right back. And once again, we are cut to a one-point lead. So there's nothing we can do to stretch out the lead. Right here, though, Colin Bryant with a sick dribbling. He steps back and drains the three in Darrell Todd's face. He's showing him who the true rookie of the year should be by, by just hitting him with a sick move. And right here, Colin Bryant comes down court again. He's going to hit Darrell Todd with another move. Run to the left, run baseline, and boom, pull up in his face with that perfect release. You guys know that's going in 100% of the time. Beautiful play by him. I just loved that play. It made me so excited. And so right there, we're going to hit the three with... Jimmy Butler, we take the two-point lead there, and we're really trying to continue this lead going into the third, going into the fourth quarter, I should say, 
because I just do not want to be on the losing side going that going into the you know going into the final quarter because that really forces your team to go on a run if you want to take that lead. So that's something we're trying to avoid. Sadly, right here we are tied though. So hopefully the Pistons don't put together a drive, but they do, and Jabari Parker hits the three. So that's a little bit disappointing, a little bit depressing. But right here we're gonna give it over to Wiggins. It's gonna get down into the paint and hit that layup. Wiggins was playing very good this game, but I mean it kind of depends how you view it. He looked like he could be could have played really good this game, but he didn't. If that makes sense, like. He showed a lot of potential, really, because he got to the basket really, really well this game, and it was just unbelievable. Sadly, though, he missed a lot of shots, too, and so one thing I realized I need to work on is Wiggins' ability to finish in the paint, because it was pretty ugly when he had to miss those layups. But you can see right here, we're up by nine, which is a little bit left, so that means we're going to come out of here with the win. So right here, I'm just going to show you guys the stats, show you guys how the game ended, and, I, and you know, I'm happy to say that we have continued our winning streak going into the games. And I really hope you guys enjoy watching us win all these games. And hopefully you enjoy postseason, which is coming up. So if you guys enjoy, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of this series and what I can do to make it more interesting. Also, make sure to share this with your friends so we can get as much support in the series as possible. And make sure to subscribe to stay tuned to this series and other ones I got coming up. Thank you for watching. Peace out.